Howdy. My name's Claudio Elijah Jones. You know what I'm saying? Now, there's gonna be a change up coming soon, you know what I'm saying? I never really wanted the green screen. I just did it because I was trying to fix up my room. You know what I'm saying? So I can have... I Y'all know how, like, Agent and them have their camera. That's how I kind of want them on. I, I just wanted to set up my room with, like, LED lights and stuff. I was looking for certain ones, and I wanted to put certain stuff in my room a little bit before I did that. You know what I'm saying? So look for the little change up with that. You know what I'm saying? Green screen is going to be no more. You feel me? He's back from Jamari, or he came back. So at this point, it has been over a month since Johnny Somali was sentenced by the nation of Japan. In the end, after a four month stint in their prison system, Johnny would get off relatively easy, having to pay a small fine and essentially getting booted out hey, of the country Johnny where Somali he was a public dude, nuisance man. for months. Of course, many looking on from America, Japan, and all around the world Japan, were disappointed I with this verdict, murdered, saying that Johnny lie. deserved a much harsher punishment and to be made an example of for other ill-intentioned streamers popping up by the day. Keep in mind, he was potentially facing years behind bars, so this sentencing How was like years? a slap on the wrist to him and a spitting in the face to everyone who he disrespected like dirt under his shoe. While Mr. Somali is now back doing his thing in America, Kit continues to platform him, and like we predicted, he continues to stream in a very arrogant fashion, clearly showing that he has failed to learn his lesson. I wonder, I wonder if he gonna go to another state, you know what I'm saying, another country and do this, bro. Because it seems like, bro, is a content fiend, you know what I'm saying? So that, that might be his next move, bro. He probably just waiting until some things die down. So when he go to another area, he does not know this so easily or something, you know what I'm saying? I think that's what you want to do. As a matter of fact, I think that this guy sees himself as Johnny more untouchable Somali than ever. So in his first stream back, Johnny did a bit of a tell-all interview with one of his former moderators who goes yeah, from back. Johnny did a bit of a tell-all interview with one of his former moderators who goes by Terrell, where he admits that he lied in Japanese court in saying that he was not trying to make any sort of monetary gain from these streams that he was doing in Japan. Hey, Terrell, who do you think they were asking about the money? Who, who's earning money? Like, how many viewers are there? Charlie asked me, did you go on the construction site? Yes, that's obvious. They have footage, right? Even the lawyer said, yo, what's obvious? Admit it. Like, don't be stupid, you know what I mean? Did you uh, play music in a restaurant? Yeah, I did. You know what I mean? But anything else, we're trying nothing. How much money do you make? How many viewers? How does kick work? So basically, Johnny's lawyer He's very the smartly beans, advised bro. him that if it didn't happen on camera, you're not admitting to it. So the trespassing, the playing loud music in businesses, all of that he admitted guilt to. Anything else, he was like, Shaggy, hey, it wasn't me. Why did you come to Japan? Who invited you to Japan? What airport did you come to? Bro, now when the, 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 the president of Japan, I don't know how I work with it, but you know, the, the person that runs Japan, you know what I'm saying? When he's, he probably gonna run across this video and now he he probably gonna, he probably gonna feel some type of way, you know what I'm saying? He can't be, bro, this is why, bro, us US citizens, bro, gotta be smart when we leave here, you know what I'm saying? Go somewhere else for like a, uh, God damn, for a vacation, you know what I'm saying? Because we can't, bro, just one of us alone can start a war, bro. I'm not even going to lie to you. Now. What hotel do you stay at? What do you do in your live stream? Where do you go? Well, who pays for the food? Do you guys give each other's gifts? Who pays money? Do you pay Gino? Who's the cat? Hey, Who's the leader? You know what I thought the detective is like that eight hours. And I would say that that's standard for almost any interrogation in any country. As a matter of fact, I'm sure in some countries they get much more forceful with their interrogations and use much harsher methods than questioning you in an aggressive way. I mean, they really want to find out why are you doing this? Are you making money? And is there a bigger head on this snake? Yeah, they're trying to get you to snap. Bro. They're trying to get you to snap, bro. They're threatening you. If you don't talk, we're going to put you in jail. If you don't talk, we're going to arrest you. But, bro, can you believe they're asking that many questions so that had nothing to do with it? Absolutely. And I believe here's where he talks about him telling the lies in court. Bro, they asked me that 20 times, so you know what I said every time? No comment, no comment. <laughs> I have to make comment. No we're really talking <laughs> about all of this, bro. I'm telling you, bro. The person who run China is going to see this. He's going to be hot. Yeah, I never said that. Bro, you know they never get scared. Bro, you know they... 
Does, does he know this guy or is this a random person? In front of 300 people. The prosecutor asked me. But this dude, man. Petco's got you I'm telling you, but he gonna go somewhere else and become a nuisance over there. You earn money from I You better watch this nigga. Videos man. online, right? I said no. But you do earn money, right? No. <laughs> Straight up, I said no. I'm sorry, you know what I told the detective? Try, I said I do this because I, I, I like to film myself for my own documentary. So this scumbag harasses people in Japan for months, gets arrested with a smile on his face, finally goes to court, and now admits to lying to the judge. Did Japan likely know he was making money off these streams? Of course. But did they essentially not want him to be their problem bro. anymore? Bro, I'm so lifted, bro. I thought something was floating in front of my window, bro. Yo, <laughs> yo, I am tripping. Or, I think so. Ah. I mean, y'all know this boy Johnny thinks he's cooking here. When really, if he was a chef, this is the type Ew, of meal he would be making. That? And I don't want you guys bro, eating. Who made when really, this, if bro? Whoever made this, bro, needs to go to jail, bro. Bro, is that hot dogs, bro? Cut up hot dogs, bro? Raw cut up hot dogs, bro? What's keeping it together? Is that jello? He was a chef. This is the type of meal he would be making. And I don't want you guys eating meals like that. That's why I'm teaming up with Cook Unity for the sponsor of today's video. Cook Unity is the first chef to consumer service that provides signature meals from award winning chefs right to your door. There is nothing like the mm. convenience that comes with getting to eat restaurant quality food in the comfort of your own home. Even better, the meals come ready to pop right into the oven per hey. the chef's right oh, to your bro. door. Cook there is Unity? nothing like the convenience that comes with yeah. I also enjoy the with cheese enchilada, oh. no spaghetti with bro, we sausage, this ad, bro. as well as Andres Mendez, and this bro. week I also enjoyed the Creole spaghetti with andoli sausage, as well as the hungry vaquero meal that was grilled steak with cheese enchilada. I mean, talk about a great so variety of delicious up, meals. In it? fact, Cook Unity has hundreds of different options to choose from. You can Yo, filter your selection with your individual preferences, decide how many meals you would like to receive, and of course, at what frequency. Hey, you can Jamari, choose from 4 to 16 man, meals a week. On, Subscription bro. start as low as $11 per meal. Meal plans are flexible and commitment free, and you can skip deliveries pause or cancel at any time so go to cookuni.com slash jamari50 or Cook click the link in the top of the description below and use my there. code jamari50 to get 50 percent off your first order of cook Unity I'm meals and you try them out bro. yourself and so over I'm the last the moment meals, last couple of days johnny has continued to stream on kick Shout out and here he talks about the moments leading up to his arrest <laughs> as well as what it was like when he was first getting prosecuted well let me go back to when i first spoke to myself you got arrest this, this is time. when i Five minutes. I get it. I get arrested. Like, to, like the clip of the bottom of me getting arrested. So what happens that night? I'm walking downtown in Osaka. I turn around. I notice a cop is just following. I'm not even live yet, Moises. That's suspicious. I'm like, I'm not even live. So how is the cop following me? Like, what the? F they know my. They know it's because they know this hat. They know that there's a five five midget what the heck? Godzilla <laughs> running around Osaka wearing this hat, right? I go into the convenience store. Yo. Godzilla <laughs> running around Osaka Yo. wearing this hat, right? I. Yo. <laughs> ah, bro, did he deserve that or not, nah, bro? <laughs> Yo, they do not mess with uh, Johnny Somali, bro. Five, five midget. Godzilla <laughs> running around Osaka wearing this hat, right? I go into bro, the convenience store, dumb, just like a, get a drink. So I go get a drink. I come out, this mother has 12 cops with him, 10, 20 cops with him. And I'm like, what the f I'm good. It's over. It's game over. They had three teams of guards at the police station. And I had names for all of them. Monday was the monkey team. Tuesday, the Kurumbo team. It means black human in Japanese. And uh, Wednesday was the og san team, the, the dirty old man team. So I had all three of these teams. Every group, like I had a different relationship with each team of guards because they did 24 hour shifts. Bro, they put a guard outside of my cell for specifically just me. And we have to suspect that the dirty old man team was the one to treat Johnny most favorably. I mean, we already heard what his accomplice had to say about the way that men could act in those Japanese prisons and how they were likely having a field day with Not Johnny behind those bars. Hungry. 
there was a lot of Japanese men hitting on me while I was in jail. I can't imagine what Johnny Somali is going through right now. Here Johnny vows that he will never stop streaming and even calls out the head police officer who was investigating him. Bro, why is he doing it, bro? We, nah, bro, the US, bro, we gotta put this dude on, 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 on a suicide watch or something, bro. Cause, cause bro is making some crazy bold statements, bro. At a country we don't wanna mess, bro. We get our stuff from China. I'm not sure if Japan is in China or if China's in Japan. I don't know how it works, bro. So don't blast me in the comments, you know what I'm saying? But bro, this dude right here, bro, is gonna get us in trouble, bro. We get all our stuff from over there, bro. If we get cut off from them, bro, we done for probably, bro. You hear me? We got to, bro. Um, that's uh, one of the down. officers there. Yeah. That is the main investigator of the case, the detective, Tori Nagashin. Fuck you. Suck my d and I bro. hope you see this video. Because the last thing you told me was, I can't wait to see what videos you make in America. So I hope you're watching, Tori Naga, and I'm going to continue to do IRL, travel the world, and you accomplish nothing. And Johnny wasn't lying there. He would continue to stream and would continue to be bro. very arrogant. He joined a Zoom call full of Japanese people and was once again screaming out Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Bro, you know, nah, today this dude I actually decided wild, I would bro. tune into his stream for like five minutes to see what it was really all about. And this was immediately the first thing I heard. Can I saw say, this on YouTube? Oh, this is good. IRL. Jamari, we good on YouTube, right? This is my ghetto ass IRL backpack. Yo, y'all want me to go? I might have to go to LA with Trey like this. I might have to just go to LA, chat. <laughs> it's me chilling, like loud. Got here, man. Yo, I ain't wow. never seen a in the U.S. <laughs> my Caucasian brothers, how you doing? White power, white power. Yes, sir. Trump 2020, 2024, let's go. Hell no. What? You're not voting for Trump? You're tripping, bro. And that was immediately followed by this message. I went to jail for being a dumbass DJ. And how do you not learn your lesson? If you don't learn your lesson, you're actually a idiot. You have to grow. You guys should want me to grow. You guys should be like, yo, we want Somali to do better. Yo, we want to see Somali in a Tesla. Yo, we want to see Somali with a penthouse. Yo, we want to see Somali with all the fans, bitch. That's what y'all should want to see. But I really think when it comes to his self-improvement journey, this man is really just talking out of his ass. You could tell this is the face of a man who feels like he got away scot-free after doing a lot of things horribly wrong, and you know he's loving every second of it. Keep in mind, these are the messages bro, I'm that he you, bro. was he gonna spreading go somewhere days else before he was bro. arrested. Come get us, nigga. I'm here, I'm, I'm here, here with a Gino. Nigga, you not doing s***, nigga. Y'all not doing s***, nigga. I'm stopping on Hero Shima. Bro, do you know these dudes will, bro, they will unalive you, bro, for fun, bro, with weapons from the U.S. Bro, we got to watch these dudes, man. Hey, hey, Somebody tweet out to all of Japan. I'm live tonight. Come Nah, tonight. bro. Stab you got to take tonight. his passports away. Stab me. What great promotional material for an amazing platform like Kick. You know, their slogan should really be, when you watch with us, you lose brain cells by the second. And obviously, other streamers and clout chasers alike have seen Johnny's verdict. They've seen that Japan gave him this slap on the wrist. And now, like many people feared when they saw that verdict, they're thinking they can go over there and act in an ignorant fashion like this guy who goes around just doing graffiti what for the clout. Hell? Apparently he was doing this all over a Japanese city. He documented the entire thing on his Instagram page. He's still alive. And really it's like the dumbasses just continued to roll in. But y'all let me know what you guys think about this whole story down below. It's been like 10 months. Hey man, we gotta watch this dude Johnny Somali, man. Shout out to Jamari with the dope video. Yeah, really, I mean.